First up is the Poison Sword. In survival mode, this sword will poison your enemies when you hit them. Alright, this one is pretty simple. We're going to start off with the repeating, always active command block. It's going to be slash replace item entity, put your username, slot.hotbar0, keep diamond sword 19999. What this is going to do is when your first inventory slot is empty, it's going to put a diamond sword in there. It's one hit away from dying. And as soon as you hit it, it's automatically going to replace it with another one, and it'll run this command here. Chain conditional always active. Slash execute at your username. Positioned carrot 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 three, which is going to be three blocks in front of you. We're gonna run effects for at E, C equals one, R equals three, name equals exclamation point your username. That means it's going to affect the closest mob right in front of you within a radius of three blocks of that position that's not you uh, which will 99.9% .9 of the time be the monster you're hitting with your sword and we're gonna give them wither for 10 seconds at level 4 and I want the particle effects there I'm using wither instead of poison because so many mobs are immune to poison like literally half the mobs our second command hack is going to be the anti-gravity bow make your enemies float into the sky before dropping them to their demise Bye. This is going to start off with a repeating, always active command block. That's going to be slash execute at your username. Run tag at E type equals arrow R equals 3 add gravity. So when you shoot an arrow, it's going to tag at gravity. And then repeating, always active. We're going to do slash execute at at E tag equals gravity. So that's at the arrow. Run effects. At E name equals not your username exclamation point your username r equals 5, type equals exclamation point arrow. And then it's going to be levitation, 5, 1, true. So near that arrow, we tag gravity. Any entities that are not you, that's also not an arrow, is going to get levitation for 5 seconds, which is going to pick up about 15 to 20 blocks in the air. And then lastly here, repeating, always active, slash execute at, at E, tag equals gravity. So again, at the arrow. If entity at E name equals exclamation point your username, type equals exclamation point arrow, R equals five, run kill at E tag equals gravity. And this one, not executing on the first tick with a delay of 20. This gets rid of the arrow afterwards, that way the uh, entities aren't constantly still getting teleported up in the air. Lastly today is going to be the Molotov cocktail, burn your way to domination. All right, this is gonna be our most advanced one today, but it's really not that bad, Now I'll take you through. Starting off, we have a repeating, always active command block. It's gonna be slash replace item entity, your username, slot.hotbar8, keep splash potion one. So that's gonna put a splash potion into the last spot on your hotbar, and as soon as you throw it, it's gonna replace it automatically. Next, repeating, always active, slash execute at, your username, run tag, at E, type equals splash potion, R equals three, add Molotov. So when you throw that splash potion, it's gonna tag it as Molotov. I have a chain command block here, conditional, always active. Slash execute at, at E, tag equals Molotov. Ron summon, armor stand, named fire, tilde, tilde one, tilde. So when we throw the potion, we're gonna tag it Molotov, and then I'm gonna summon an armor stand right above it. Chain unconditional, always active. Slash effect at E, name equals fire, invisibility 21 true. And now that armor stand that we spawn in is going to be invisible. With this one, repeating always active, I'm going to do slash execute at, at E, tag equals molotov, run TP, at E, name equals fire, tilde, tilde one, tilde. So I'm going to, at the position of the splash potion, I'm going to run teleport. And I'm constantly going to teleport the invisible armor stand one block above it. That way, when the potion crashes into the ground, the armor stand marks the exact spot where it hit. And then here, repeating, always active, slash execute at, at E, name equals fire, unless entity at E, tag equals Molotov. Uh, so what we're doing is at the armor stand is where I'm going to execute unless the Molotov splash potion is still in the world. So as soon as that potion is gone, when it crashes, it's going to run this fill command till the one tilde one, tilde one, tilde negative one, tilde negative one, tilde negative one, 
fire and then I'm just going to open and close the bracket because I'm not changing anything about the fire. Replace air and then again I'm going to open and close this bracket because I'm not changing anything about the air. This is not going to replace any blocks but anything that can catch on fire where the potion hits is going to. And then lastly chain conditional always active and this one has a small delay of 10 ticks. I'm going to do slash kill at E name equals fire. And that'll get rid of the armor stand in the fire so you don't sit there and listen to <coughs> Don't miss out on my other updated command hacks for 1.19.70. They are running better than ever. This is Browncode67. I'll catch you next time.